Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this green triangle CDE inside this right triangle ABC such that this angle ADC is 150 degrees and this angle DCE is 30 degrees and moreover this line segment AD is 15 and moreover this line segment EB is 15 as well and now we are going to find the area of this green shaded triangle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe so let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step let's focus on the angles inside this triangle and now let's focus on this straight angle over here according to this straight angle property the angle sum is 180 degrees and we know this is 150 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 30 degrees so therefore our angle CDE turns out to be 30 degrees and now let's recall this triangle sum theorem according to this theorem the sum of the angles in this green triangle must be 180 degrees this angle is 30 degrees this angle is 30 degrees therefore this angle has got to be 120 degrees and now once again let's apply this uh, state angle property the sum of these angles are 180 degrees this angle is 120 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 60 degrees so therefore our angle CEB turns out to be 60 degrees and here's our next step let's focus on this green triangle DEC now we are going to calculate the area of this green triangle so let's recall the area of a triangle formula and here's the area of a triangle formula area of a triangle equals to a half time base times a height let's assume that the height of this green triangle is h and the base of this one is x then the area of this green triangle is going to be a equals to a half time in our case base is x times height is h and now let me go ahead and call this equation number one and now in the next few steps we are going to find the value of this base x and height h and now in this next step let's focus on this triangle dbc and let's focus on this angle which is 30 degrees and we are going to apply trigonometric ratios the side that is opposite to 30 degrees is called the opposite side and our adjacent side is going to be this one db which is going to be x plus 15 then we are going to apply this so called toa rule according to this rule toa means tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent since we got adjacent and opposite so we are going to apply tangent theta i'm going to write down tangent of 30 degrees is going to be opposite side is h divided by our adjacent is x plus 15 but we know that our tangent of 30 degrees is 1 divided by square root of 3 so therefore I'm going to replace this part by 1 divided by square root of 3 equals to h divided by x plus 15 now let's go ahead and isolate h so I am going to multiply x plus 15 on this side and x plus 15 on this side as well and we can see this x plus 15 and this x plus 15 is gone so we got h equals to x plus 15 divided by square root of 3 
Let me go ahead and call this our equation number two. And now in this next step, let's focus on this triangle ABC and our angle that we're going to focus on is 60 degrees. The opposite side of this 60 degrees is this one and the adjacent side is this one which is 15. So therefore, we're going to be applying the trigonometric ratios. This time I'm going to apply tangent of 60 degrees which is equal to opposite side is h and our adjacent is 15 and we know that a tangent of 60 degrees is a square root of 3 so therefore i'm going to replace this one so square root of 3 equals to h over 15 and now let's multiply 15 on both sides to isolate h and we can see this 15 and 15 is gone so our h value turns out to be 15 times square root of 3 and in this next step let's go ahead and plug it in this h equals to 15 times square root of 3 value in this equation 2 and here's our equation 2 and i'm going to replace this h by this value therefore i can write 15 times square root of 3 equals to x plus 15 divided by square root of 3. Now let's put 1 underneath this one to make it a fraction. Let's go ahead and cross multiply. So this way we are going to have x plus 15 equals to 15 times square root of 3 times square root of 3. 3. Now let's go ahead and subtract 15 from both sides. This is gone. So our x value turns out to be 30. And here's our final step. We are going to calculate now the area of this green triangle since we figured out our h value and x value and we are going to plug it in in this equation 1. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So area is going to be a half time our x value is 30 times our h value is 15 times square root of 3 and if we simplify this thing we are going to 2 goes into 30 15 times so we got 15 times 15 square root of 3 and if we multiply 15 times 15 we're gonna get 225 so thus the area of this green triangle turns out to be 225 times square root of 3 square units or in terms of decimals it's approximately equal to 389.7 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye